Greetings, goons, gangsters, and gamers. It's your boy, the Good Tonight. Today we're doing a quick review on the Blue Force Gear Micro Trauma Kit. Now, so, pretty straightforward iFact. Blue Force Gear makes some pretty fantastic things. This is arguably the most popular iFact on the market, particularly because it is uh, relatively tiny, doesn't take up a whole lot of space, easy to mount on a belt. They do have a belt mounted type, and they have a Molly mounted type. This one in particular is Molly mounted. The difference being one's easier to mount to a belt and this one you can mount to either or although i think the little belt uh elastic is a bit more fancy in my opinion so up front you have a not red cross going on you have a little blue semi cross to indicate medical you can swap it out with other little panels and stuff these guys pop out right here the little tab cards and you just put in whatever you want and that's how you can identify you can even go with slick and just have that be your only indication that this is a medical kit so, I did do a review on the medium one a good deal of time ago, and right now I'm ultimately running the uh, the Coyote Tactical little stop pouch. I like it. It's a little bit bigger, but I do prefer my um, high retention, so having that little buckle in there goes a long way in making sure this doesn't get lost. I do like having a little bit of extra space for the things I need. But for those going the most minimal of minimalist, this is probably the good to go. Now, there's a few small things that I don't um, particularly care for, but, I mean, Blue Force Gear makes good stuff, so I can't argue too much about it. So in particular, I like having my tourniquet, tourniquet, tourniquets, either or, mounted onto my iFic pouch. It's just the thing I prefer. This one does not come with it mounted. However, they do sell, in addition to this, you can get the little aftermarket tourniquet holder and that just mounts down here. You generally want to put it down here so it uh, doesn't, once everything's like locked, locked into place, it's not going to go anywhere. And on the uh, belt mounted one, it matters less. And that adds that to it. You put your little tourniquet in there. Easy peasy. However, I did find that when I had this mounted, it had a tendency to do this number and fold up this way and then get, you know, stuck between the belt and myself. And it was just something I had to watch out for. I wasn't particularly a fan. I'd prefer the more sturdy mount at the bottom. That's just me. Additionally, since you can't fit uh, shears in there, there's the one that also holds shears as well as a tourniquet that you can mount on there. Carry both. But it kind of feels like you're really just building up on it, but you know, to each their own. You could carry your tourniquet somewhere else on your uh, kit, so. I do like these, uh, personally I like these mounted belt line because if you don't have your plate carrier on, you still have your medical equipment with you at all times. So, as far as the design, this is pretty simple, it's just basically just a tube with the elastic and the little mount, mount onto your belt, and you pull either one of these little bead embedded little tabs. The, um, the medium one had one of these as well to work with, and of course the elastic holds everything nice and tight, so it is relatively small, size of, uh, put both of your hands together like that, bam, there you go. So you pull one of these, and as you'll see on the back, there's, uh, some Velcro there, on the inside there's Velcro. And you may notice, since that Velcro is going vertically, and this one's going horizontally, you have some room to play with. And it gives you just enough of a grip, so this isn't gonna... It's not gonna get lost when you don't want it to, but it's still gonna be an easy one-hand pull without too much effort. And it's basically folded up in this nice little um, burrito style we got going on. So, when you pop uh, this guy open here, you can open that. I got my gloves right down here. The gloves are the only thing I don't have to particularly secure. As far as the kits go, you have um, your quick clot, your actual uh, bandaging, so you can like stuff all the wounds and uh, you can wrap stuff up and whatnot. Got your chest seal and you got some good old little medical strip tape. You can also get your decompression needle and your little nasal phalaryngeal airway and all that good stuff and kind of customize this. Now, the medium also did this thing, like I said, uh, Blue Force Gear really does like their industrial grade elastic. And I still personally just prefer the uh, shock cord method used in the uh, the stomp pouch because it lets you really organize things in a simple yet effective way. And kind of modified, not too crazy, but this one is really just a preset. And there's nothing wrong with that, you can work your own presets, but um, they do have good elastic, so you're not going to have to worry too much there. But yeah, pretty much just the essentials, only the essentials. Fold it back up, pop that guy down, and you're set to put it back in place. And the tighter you can make it, the better, so you can, um, because it's all about minimal space taking up this. So, 
far as that goes, you just jam that back in there, grab the uh, pull tab, pull it to the other side, get it centered, and bam, everything is nice, neat, and secure and ready to go. So it's a really simple system, and I do like that a lot about it. It just holds a little bit too little for my liking, almost too minimalistic. Because again, I really like having my tourniquet. And I got my shears on the inside, and that's just how I prefer to have my for, uh, medical kit set up. But, can you have too many IFACs? I mean, when you need one, the closest one is probably what you're going to go for, so... On top of that, of course, as always, with all medical gear, the tools are one thing, and knowing how to use them is another thing, so make sure you're getting training, and not just getting training, but it is kind of a perishable skill. Not so much perishable as much as it slows down, and when time is of the essence, make sure you're trained up, good to go, high speed, and all that good stuff. So, tool pouch. Easy recommend, they're not crazy expensive, and you can get everything you need in one easy go. So, probably get a couple of these and just keep them literally anywhere and everywhere, ready to go at a moment's notice, or worst case scenario. Because it's only gotta save your life once to kinda pay for itself, you know, so. As far as what equipment goes in there is up to you. The more training you get, the easier it'll be to decide what you need and what's kind of um, superfluous, so. That's all I got for you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. I'll try to answer them the best I can. But in the time I've run around with this, it's been it's been pretty good. I still just I still just prefer my stomp. It's just a matter of opinion. So, cheers, stay shoulders, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.